Hi, in this video, I want to introduce you to Alex. Alex is an AI code editor that integrates seamlessly and directly in Xcode. So you can see over here from the creator of Alex, this tool is Kesa for Xcode. So it turns Xcode into Kesa. It can follow your project and index all the files in the project. It allows you to search through your code base and also use the same key bindings like in Kesa. To get started with Alex, you should visit alexsidebar.app and download the app for macOS 14 plus. If you want to ask questions about this tool or follow its discussions, you can join the Discord community. So let's look at the key features of Alex. As I told you before, it allows you to use the same key bindings as in Kesa. So it supports command L. You can select any text in Xcode and instantly chat with it, just like in Kesa. Let's launch Xcode. Over here, I used Alex to improve this code. As I told you before, we can start a new AI chat with command L. So let's press command L. You can see we now have the AI chat in the Alex window. So on the right, I have Xcode and on the left, I have Alex. So by pressing command L, it brings the chat window. So we can start to enter any prompt we want to chat with a particular Swift file, create a new Swift file and more. Over here, you can see it supports different models. So we can select Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4, OpenAI O1 Mini, and OpenAI O1 Preview. It also supports vision, so you can chat with any image. For example, uploading a screenshot to generate a Swift code from the screenshot. Let's look at the other features of Alex. So I have now shown you Command L to start a new chat. As we saw in the interface, it also allows you to chat with image so you can upload any screenshot as demonstrated in this example. So here it is now generating a Swift code from this image. It also allows you to search through your code base. So this feature allows you to search your entire code base for anything. Next, we have inline code editing using command K, just like in Kesa. So let's go back to Xcode again. I'm going to select this edge stack. So this edge stack contains the animation you see in the preview. So the left object is an SF symbol and also we have the text. With the H stack selected, I'm going to press Command K to bring the inline chart. So instead of H stack here, I'm going to say change this to V stack and press enter. You can see it started changing it and now we have V stack and that reflects immediately in the preview. So that is how you can do an inline chart with Alex. You first select the code you want to change and press command K. So now let's change it back to as it was before. So we now see the changes in the preview. Let's go to the next feature. Once you generate any code, it has this feature, fast apply code. It's just like in Kesa, but here it uses a lightning icon. So once you generate a code, you can click the lightning icon to apply the changes as it is shown here. You can also auto fix errors. When there is an error, there is a button that appears in the code, so clicking that will fix the error, as you have seen in this example. Next, you can also do advanced semantic file search, like shown in the example here. Then, you can do automatic file creation. For example, if you have a long code, you can select all the code and ask Alice to split the code into different files. So that is the example showing here. So at the time of making this video, Alex is free to use in beta. So this may change in the future. So I encourage you to download it now and start experimenting with it. Let's go back to the Xcode example. Once you launch Alex and Xcode together, you can use the systems window option to tile them so that you put one on the left, right, or any position you want. This allows you to resize Alex and Xcode together by using the dragger. So I can expand Alex and here we resize Xcode or I can reduce the width of Alex and expand the width of Xcode. Next, you can click this button to go to settings. So here it shows your account information and other settings you can apply to your project. You can add a new prompt here and also join the Discord community as I told you before. Let's cancel that. The timer icon also shows your chat history. So in this panel, you can manage your chat history. For example, if I don't want a new chat, I can select it and delete it. So as you can see, I have one previous chat. Let's select that. Initially, I created an animation in Xcode. That is this animation. So this is how the animation looks like. 
So here is the original code with the animation you see in the preview. As you have seen here, I asked Alex to improve the code by adding the file name. So if I scroll down, this is the improved version. And that is what you saw previously. First, it generated a new code and also gave explanation after. So the updated animation is what you saw previously. That is in this file, Thinking with Alex. The buttons you see here are for applying changes to your code. You can specify the model you want to use. For example, changing it from Cloud 3.5 Sonnet to OpenAI O1 Mini. So this is everything about Alex and how you can start using it with your SwiftUI and Xcode project. I encourage you to download the app from alexsidebar.app and start experimenting with it. Thanks for watching this video.